Hi everyone, it's Al. Uh, another toilet flushing problem here. Um, this is one of the simplest, easiest ones you can fix and you don't even need any tools. Okay, this is a real simple job. If you've got an awful flush like this one, you push the handle and barely any water goes down there before it stops. Look at that, it's stopped already. It's absolutely terrible and it's not pushing anything away. Okay, so we're, we're gonna find out what's wrong with this system and why uh, it's just flushing such a small piece away. Okay, we're going to take the lid off. So we'll whip the, the lid off and have a look. Uh, we'll have a look down inside here. You'll see that we've got this type of a ball valve arrangement. Um, these are fairly common. Now, if you have got one of these type of ball valves, they are pretty easy to adjust. Now, if you look at this system, you'll see what starts to happen. It's starting to close down already. Now, we let him finish right off. We'll shut off in a second and I can see what's wrong already before we even get anywhere at all on this system before we start seeing an analyzing problem. Right there we are, she's shut off and what's what is the problem? What can you see immediately what is wrong? Okay, now if you look here, closing on it there, there's a line. That line is the water line that the water should be at for this system to flush properly. Okay, all systems have got a line like this, so a lot of times systems don't go, they don't flush properly because there's not enough water in the system to flush. Okay, that's the main thing. We're gonna, I'll show you how to adjust that very easily. But there is one other thing with this system. This has got a standard siphon in it. And these ones, these particular siphons, you're gonna come back from it a bit jam on the camera. Now, if I put my hand down the side of here, if you put the hand down the side of your system, your, your flusher, and keep going down, you'll find there's a little hole. And that little hole is so that you get half a flush, which is half a litre, if you hold the handle down or if you hold it down till it's gone past that point, you will get the full litre. Now, the problem with that is, of course, kids, you know, if you've got children, you've got teenagers, they're not going to hold their hand on that handle for that old flush to go away. They're just going to push it and go. That means you get half a litre of water into your toilet system. It's barely enough to flush stuff away. On top of that, if you've got this problem where the thing isn't even halfway full, you know, you're only actually flushing about a quarter of a litre of water. Um, so consequently, you know, it's just not enough to do anything. So first thing we do is adjust this ball valve first at a proper level. Okay, if you've got this type of ball valve, very easy to, to fix to make more water go in. Now look, you've got this type of arrangement here. Now this, this little valve, twist around, just watch me now, I'm twisting that round, can you see it? And as you twist it round, you get to there, now I can move this up and down. So now, we'll have to take a guess for now, but we'll just, we'll take it about halfway down, twist it back in again, like so, and it's locked again. Now we're going to let it fill, and start bringing it up to this level. So it's very easy to adjust, there's no tools required at all. Um, you just literally turn it by hand, unlock it and let it drop up and down there's still not enough in there. You can see it's shut down, so we're going to lift it up again. Okay, and we're going to take it up a bit more. So we turn it round, take it up to about there. Now we're going to see how much more we can get in there. You'll see we're getting closer to the line now. Okay, we want to get that up to that line. And that's looking pretty good, that's looking promising. Now that is almost, that is about right because the time the last dribbles finish off, that will actually be dead on that line. Because the time you get the last little remains, you've got, that will be spot on. So there we are, that's how to adjust the level of the toilet um, with that type of valve, very, very easy. But one other thing, if you want this siphon to flush the whole litre, which I recommend, I mean the half litre thing, I know it's a water saving idea, and uh, it's been bought in with all these siphons. Now once upon a time when you siphon, you should be able to get a little cap that you could put over the hole in that siphon and that would make sure that it flushed the whole litre, but they've stopped doing them now. Um, so consequently, you've got to put something over it. Best thing to do is flush it, let all the water come right out of it. Hold that up with the other hand. If you can get someone to hold that up, okay, just so that no water goes in. Okay, it's, it's siphoned right down. Get a lump of plumber's mate, uh, even hard putty, and shove it in the hole that's down here on the right hand side. I'm sorry, sorry I can't actually show you it, um, but it's right down there, and it's, if you follow my hand, I don't think you can actually see it, it's so dark, but if you follow your hand down, you'll fill that hole, just fill that hole up, 
okay, bit of putty, bit of plumber's mate, cover it over, and then every time you flush it, you'll flush the whole cistern empty. And that really is it. And once you've done that, you'll find your cistern once again is back to full working order, and uh, you, won't, you won't be left with any dodgy bits in the pan. <laughs> it's nothing worse, isn't it? Okay, so that's another little tip from me. Thanks very much for watching. Derek and 33, all my videos. Thank you very much.